part of speech is pronouns example we you will be given a topic like talk about sachin tendulkar the best batsman right so when you're narrating uh, when you're giving a narration about this batsman you don't always tell sachin tendulkar has scored these many runs sachin tendulkar is the fastest uh, uh, runner in the on the uh, pitch everything right how do you tell he uh, sachin tendulkar is the best batsman then you will tell he has scored so many runs his achievements are so and so so you do not use his name everywhere so you replace the name by he him his right so these replacements are called as pronouns so pronouns are described as words which are used instead of a noun clear okay so now we what which words can be used instead of a noun yes for like my mine me yours ours right like this these who how now you will be having question in your mind why are these questioning words coming here in pronouns we have 10 further types which we will be learning in the in our further classes <coughs> but as of now we will be thorough with personal pronouns so what do you understand by personal you will tell no hey it's a secret don't come and interrupt yes just that's confidential between you and your friend that becomes a secret but when it comes personal to yourself the the words which will refer a person speaking or which will refer to a person place or thing which is spoken about for example if you are talking about a person so that person we do not want to mention his name so instead of his name we will tell he has done that because of him only all these things have happened right using these words instead of the particular name proper name is called as personal pronouns such as i me my and mine if you are in a group we will tell it is we as our and ours understood yes now we we are cleared we have a clear picture about nouns and pronouns the next part of the speech is adjectives so now if you have to describe a person if you are describing his physical appearance for example the person is fat and tall how do we describe oh he is a tall and fat person right so the words which describes a noun are called as adjectives and then on adjectives in describes the quality size shape and more about a noun they can describe the noun in any ways it not only includes about how, which quality it is they can also speak about the size and they can also speak about the shapes and they can also tell what kind and what type of a noun it is understanding so for example for example we have a cricket team and the cream ha team has or dangerous and strongest batsman so if you have to present that person to the other three team how how do you describe that person you will tell us the team my the team has a dangerous batsman the word dangerous as you can see in the picture the underlined word dangerous describes the noun and the noun here is batsman understanding yes so look at the second example now i have 10 candies in my pocket so here candies is a noun but your number 10 describes the quantity of adjective so adjectives even speak about the quantity right so here i have 10 candies in my pocket indicates that how many candy how many candies i have the underlined word 10 stands for the quantity look at the other example now i loved that red car so now if somebody comes and asks you when you visit a car showroom and you select one car you will have the most liked one right so if somebody comes and asks you which car did which one is your favorite or which one did you like so you will just give a clear picture i loved that red car i loved that yellow car or i love that intense black card right 
so the word that red that red the color red and the word that describes the noun and the noun present in the statement is car clear so look in the next example i earn more money than he does what can you see here the word more is underlined right so here the word more is describing about a noun and the noun here is i right it's a personal it's a pro, it's not a proper noun yes it's used instead of a noun so the word i is telling that he earns more money than other person the word more is a describing word for the noun clear with these examples let's learn the types of adjectives so we have eight types of adjectives the very first type is proper adjectives now what do you understand by the word proper yes it gives us a specification that that something is mentioned in a proper way but example you go to a restaurant and in a restaurant you have various styles of food present there right so you will not tell give me how do you summarize the style of food you want to eat will you tell could you please provide me food which is cooked in north indian recipe is this the way you'll tell or oh, you'll tell north indian dishes yes you just use one proper word that is north indian dishes finish you'll just finish it up in simple words so here proper adjectives are nothing but instead of saying words instead of saying something in a long summary you'll just put it into short simple word and that is called as proper adjectives for example instead of saying food cooked in chinese recipe we can say chinese food right and for example uh, telling that is street side food oily food what do we tell junk food right it's simple enough so you put in words in short is called as proper adjectives and for example you love burgers but you need to specify which burgers you right you like right so you will mention i like kfc burgers i like dominos burgers right so this is the way you present your proper adjectives so the second one is adjective of quality yes now if you have to describe a noun by its quality how do you tell for example you have to tell a person is good and kind how do you tell that he is a good person she is a kind woman right so the, these kind of words which describes the quality of a noun is called as adjective of quality for example he is an honest man that is a great idea yes so next we have adjective of quantity so what do you understand by quantity yes the term which is the term in which things are weighed so all things have their names so hence it is considered as noun so what is adjective of quantity yes the words which describes the quantity of a noun is called as adjective of quantity for example a little water you don't know if it is half liter or how many liters of water it is but when you find the water is little you'll tell it is a little water understanding an example kgs of rice tons of luggage right these are all the words the words like kgs liters tons these are describing the quantity of a noun so hence they are considered to be as adjectives of quantity